is going on people tay here back again in 2024 i like to make one of these videos every year this is going to be a starting assetto corsa guide i'm going to try and go over all of the basics in this video how to get started how to download and install mods apps graphics you know all of the basic questions that we get on a daily basis on the discord i'm going to try and answer as many of them as possible in this video so first things first obviously you need to purchase the game now, straight off the bat, I'm going to tell you to purchase Assetto Corsa Ultimate Edition. Now, this includes all of the DLC content that comes with the base game. It is an old game, so as you can see, it's always on sale. Reason being for this is you won't be able to connect to as many online servers as you might like because some of the mods that you'll be downloading have DLC parts in them. And because we simply don't know which parts are from which DLC, it's just your best bet just to purchase this. I mean, as you can see, it's a really great price. So, yeah. Next, most importantly, more than the game even, I don't even know if that's physically possible because you couldn't play the game without it, but Content Manager is your launcher and, yeah, as it says there, your management app for Seto Corsa. It manages all of your mods. It helps you install things easier it makes things a lot simpler than what they once were back when i started modding the game in 2015 so i'm not going to tell you too many of the features but it's pretty much like armor 3 launcher if any of you guys have used that you just want to scroll down and there's a download at the bottom there's a light version and a paid version the paid version is one dollar guys and it does unlock some nice features which you don't get in the light version I think pretty much near enough everybody has the full version of content manager now so for the sake of one dollar and supporting the guy definitely worth it moving on to csp or custom shaders patch as it is actually known this is all of your cool graphics and your motion blur weather effects everything else kind of relies on the csp there's no csp without content manager and vice versa and everything kind of works really well in conjunction with one another so yeah i won't tell you too much about this right now as i'm going to show you on content manager in a minute but the next thing you need in my opinion is a weather app either pure or soul now you won't actually be able to connect to some servers unless you've got either installed so at a bare minimum you'll need to install soul which is free i'll link that down below as well but I use Pure, which is available on Patreon. It is quite a cheap price. I'll link the exact version that I have as well in the description so you guys know which version I'm using. And then we're going to get into where you can download mods from. Now, there's a few different websites. I like to use Vozan. As you can see, I was downloading a pack just now to show you guys. But we've got our tracks uploaded on Vozan. We've got a great relationship with the guys there. So shout out to Vozan. But there's some other amazing websites. For example, Assetto World. This website works works really, really well. And there's tons of free mods on there to get started. So if online servers aren't your thing, then you can download tracks and cars from websites like Vozan and Assetto World. Let's get into how to install mods, guys. So the simplest way to install mods is exactly as follows let's just say you've downloaded a car or a track we're going to do it with a track and a car now if i just drag in the track that i've just downloaded it will flash up at the top right here and then you'll see new track if it's packed correctly this will work so new track raceland adria drift series 2024 by cda now i press install now when I search for the track here, it's here. So we can see that this track has installed correctly. Now the actual way that I'd like to show you how to install mods is through the directory of the game. Now this is the base game directory. If you open the content section, you'll see tracks and cars. These will be your best friend Tracks and cars specifically are the ones that you'll be using the most. However, sorry, the other folders you will be utilizing at various points when you're modding. So let's open a big car pack. For example, the DWG car pack. We've got part one. 
we've opened that content folder and as you can see there's actually two folders in here which is a prime example now for the mods to function correctly you'll need both of these installed now I'll drag these in like so and just let the mod install I'll fast forward this bit and like so it will move the mods over to the folders specified if there's anything to replace it will ask you and I would say yes every time because if you've updated a mod that you already had installed this is probably the best way to do it I would recommend always installing mods the manual way but I understand why people don't just to check that these cars did install I'm gonna to come to the car section which you can see up here content cars I'm going to type in DWG as you can see the cars have installed and I have the whole car pack installed at once as opposed to the individual cars if you were to try and drag this whole car pack in it will read it look found 35 items but if at any point content manager was to crash you'd have corrupted installs of the cars which is why we recommend that you install it the manual way so I'm not going to click yes to that so what is next let's get straight into custom shaders patch now so when you install custom shaders patch you'll see that it unlocks all of these beautiful extra options again there's a lot of information on the screen so if you want to download my CSP graphic settings and just get straight in I'm going to put a link to download those in the description you literally click one button and it will ping straight over to content manager and pull all of the data over it's got some cool features like that built in uh, this is where you'd control rain going back to that paid version of CSP guys this is where you can add rain into your online or single player sessions you've also got your weather effects controls you know I've selected pure to make sure that my pure is functioning correctly all of this information is available on the install guides for the various mods but once you grasp the basics you will follow a pattern so to speak and work out the best way to install mods for yourself add as well guys will the ac king the man behind the maps and the man behind all of the blender stuff when it comes to our servers is the ac king and he has a tutorial on the csp traffic tool which is a much easier way to get traffic working on single player on a set of courses so definitely go and check out his video guys i'm going to put the link to this in the description every other app or download that you'll find for a set of Corsa will be installed and viewed on content manager so whenever you're installing something make sure you go and check that it's actually installed and enabled now I won't say too much what that means but you'll come back to this and be like thank you Tay for saying that because it's such an important part of a set of knowing that everything kind of goes through this one app gives you peace of mind knowing that you don't need to look elsewhere for this or look elsewhere for that it's just all through this there's just a little bit that you need to do to get started and it is annoying one small feature which i will show you which is cool um, so i'll open this car in what's called custom showroom you'll see the option when you hover over your car mods and as you can see on the right hand side it says paint shop now if you click that down here you click save as new you can actually adjust some of the mods that you've already got installed now this doesn't work for every mod it's dependent on the person who made the mod but you can change your number plates from here you want to put a russian one on and type in you know hee <laughs> hee whatever you want to type in i don't even know what that was that i typed in but yeah you can adjust that and then skin ID, you'd change the name to my Russian Porsche. And then save as new. And if this goes through correctly, 
I'll actually show you guys me loading into the map that we downloaded with my Russian Porsche. I don't have my wheel plugged in, so I won't actually be able to drive anywhere, but this is just to show you that it does work. And I'm not talking rubbish. Well, I am very often talking rubbish, but... Here we are. And if we look closely, there's our Russian plate. So that is the skin that we just made. So as you can see, editing the mods that you've already got is pretty easy too. Without getting too in-depth with your modding. But any other questions that you guys have, please just make a ticket on the server. This, These videos are just to answer those simple questions. We're actually going to put this video in the Discord as well, just to give everyone a brief overview on how to get started. Everything that you need to get started on our servers is available on our Discord at discord.gg slash taboo. So if you want to download all the mods to get involved in our servers, that's where to find it if you've found this video on YouTube. But yeah, thank you for watching the video, guys. I hope you all have a great rest of your week.